Dear friends, the feast of the Pentecost marks the official beginning of the church. As promised by Jesus before his ascension into heaven, the Holy Spirit comes down on the apostles at Pentecost and it transforms, sanctifies and strengthens them. The apostles become supercharged people and they go out and win a world for their master Jesus. Can we not do the same? Didn't you and I receive the same Holy Spirit at our baptism and confirmation? Yes, we did receive the Holy Spirit. And yes, we can do what the apostles did if we but allow the Spirit to work within us. Today's readings remind us that Pentecost is an event of both the past and the present. It's an event that will happen in our lives every day if we will. An old beggar lay on his deathbed. He called his youngest son who had been his constant companion during his begging trips and said, Son, I have nothing to give you except a cotton bag and a dirty bronze bowl which I got in my younger days from the junkyard of a rich lady. After his father's death, the son continued begging using the bowl his father had given him. One day, a gold merchant dropped a coin in the young man's bowl and he was surprised to hear a familiar clinging sound. Let me check your bowl, the merchant said. To his great surprise, he found that the beggar's bowl was made of pure gold. My dear young man, he said, why do you waste your time begging? You are a rich man. That bowl of yours is worth at least $30,000. Aren't we too often times like this young beggar who failed to recognize and appreciate the value of his bowl? Don't we fail to recognize the power of the Holy Spirit, especially the power of his gifts and charisms in our lives? Pentecost marks the beginning of the end. It ended the timidity and indifference of the apostles. It ended fear and confusion. It ended compromise and half-heartedness. It ended doing divine activity under the influence of man's wisdom and efforts. At Pentecost, Peter possessed a personality totally influenced by the Spirit of God that enabled him to preach what he believed and live what he preached. His preaching at Pentecost was a tremendous exhibition and illustration of the Spirit's power, a mandatory qualification to become a witness to Jesus Christ. A genuine experience of Pentecost inspires us to ask, like Peter's listeners, what shall we do? The answer is simple. Resolve to reject our old self, the routine ways of living our lives, and accept a new self given by the Holy Spirit. We need to allow the Holy Spirit to fill every area of our lives, our minds, our words, relationships, attitude and character to ever remain and live under his divine influence. Fulton J. Sheen once said about the church, even though we are God's chosen people, we often behave more like God's frozen people, frozen in our prayer life, frozen in the way we relate with one another, frozen in the way we celebrate our faith. Today is a great day to ask the Holy Spirit to rekindle in us the spirit of new life and enthusiasm, the fire of God's love. Let us repeat Cardinal Newman's favorite little prayer. Come, Holy Spirit. God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.